This is Catapult Falls, and it's the world's first launch log flume and the newest ride at SeaWorld San Antonio. In this review, I'm going to be sharing everything you need to know when you go to SeaWorld to ride this thing, including the ride layout and on-ride POV. Starting off with the ride presentation, you can find this thing right across from Wavebreaker the Rescue Coaster. All you have to do is head towards the towering structure of Steel Eel's first drop and you should find it. Upon walking up, you're met with this very sleek sign reading Catapult Falls and just behind it you have your plaza for the ride. In the back of the plaza you can see a splashdown with the final drop and you have lockers to your right. The splashdown gives a great view of the ride and there's a place for kids to get wet. I didn't want to get wet, so I put my GoPro in it. Take a look. To the right of your lockers, you'll have the quick queue entrance and the regular entrance leading you into the queue for the ride. The queue has a loose campground theme. It's not too much, but it's not nothing, so I appreciate the effort they put in. And you also get some really cool views from the queue. I don't have too much footage from the station, but I can tell you that it is a continuous moving platform. The boats, or logs should I say, are set up differently than most of your log flumes. Instead of having that one bench in the middle that everyone sits on, it actually has four rows of two different seats separated. Now we're going to get into the actual ride experience. When you come out of the station, you're exactly parallel to your launch track that'll be just to the left of you, and you slowly curve right, then to turn left again. In the middle of this circle is the iconic Catapult Fall sign that you've probably seen. As you continue this turnaround, you're greeted with some campsite theming, including some bear crossing signs and some tents and geyser warning signs. You kind of meander through theming for the next little bit of the ride before you enter the part where you can get wet. To your left and right, there are geysers that could go off at any moment, and it's scary knowing that you could be potentially drenched. However, there is one geyser that went off every every single log and got riders soaked. It was a geyser that you couldn't even see from the ride. It's hidden on your right, right below the launch track and it goes off just before you hit the launch track. The way I would describe it, when you're at a water park and there's this play structure with the big bucket that tips every like five minutes, it's basically that. In the full ride POV that's already posted to the channel, you can literally hear me screaming. This is about when you're gonna hit your launch. From videos and POVs, it didn't look too punchy or powerful, I'm gonna be completely honest, however, after being soaked and not prepared, it caught me off guard and felt really punchy. It's no top throw dragster launch, but for the first world's first launch log flume, they did a pretty good job. This is where you hit the first splashdown of the ride, and it doesn't get you too wet. The wettest part of the ride was definitely the geyser that I mentioned a minute ago, and this probably got you more wet than the final drop. It's nothing crazy, it looks like a lot more water than it is on video, it was fun though, and a great way to end the launch track. You slowly turn around to your right before you're greeted with the elevator lift to the final drop. An elevator lift on a log ride in particular is very rare. I don't know if there's actually any other of them in the world. You'll usually find them on like circle raft rides and roller coasters. This was my first elevator lift besides Cobra's Curse. I found it really cool and a lot more unique than just another lift hill. You're fastly approaching the most iconic moment of the entire ride which is obviously the final drop. You get a great view of Steel Eel and Wavebreaker in the distance as you crest the final lift hill and are greeted with one of the steepest drops on any log flume in the world. The drop was actually really good. I got that stomach dropping feeling that I love so much. You get an all right head chopper as you dive underneath a bridge that's part of the queue before sending you up into an airtime hill that doesn't really give any airtime. It actually slows down your speed quite a lot. This is when you entered that final splashdown that I was talking about earlier that you can see from the plaza and it doesn't get you too wet however it is a spectacle and it looks cool. After this point you just do a few more turns and then you're back in the station. Not thrilling whatsoever. Catapult Falls was so much fun to ride. Actually the time I rode it it was two days after the grand opening and I'm recording this around a week later. I don't do many reviews of rides on the channel not to mention log flumes instead of roller coasters so if you like this video remember to like subscribe share and I'll see you on the other side. Bye!